All right, here we go. Monday, March 18th. I just sent out the new edition of MMT Trader. If you want a copy of that, please go to my website, pitbulleconomics.com, and sign up for a 30-day free trial. Uh, once again, I'll let you know, I am the only one who does this. This is an apply, I have created an applied approach to MMT. MMT, of course, going viral. Everybody's talking about it. Uh, I've been involved in MMT for 18 years, spreading the word, educating people. Now, there are a lot of academics out there that are talking about MMT. That's fantastic. The media is talking about it. People are criticizing it. Warren Buffett is criticizing it now. But I've been all through that. Uh, these people are really ignorant as to what MMT is. But I have created an applied approach to MMT using the concepts of MMT to trade and invest in the markets profitably and combined into that very, very important, probably the most important thing is the mental game aspect. Because it doesn't matter what kind of information you have, you could have the best information in the you could have inside information, all right? You're not going to make money consistently if you don't have the right mental game. That's hands down, that is a fact. So, what's going on? Stock market moving towards new all-time highs, that's going to happen. We have probably the risk in here, like we saw in, uh, I guess, the late February to March period, or, or maybe it was earlier this month, about a 2%. I would say the downside risk in the stock market at any particular time uh, is probably a two to three percent downside. Now I would not include in that something like um, an event such as some Brexit scare and I think most of that is is over at this point although you never know it's still an unresolved issue or a trade scare could set people off again all right but these are not uh, th this would not be an enduring thing you have a sufficient, I would say, a, 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 a large amount, not sufficient, a large amount of fiscal support still. You have the bank credit situation, and that's interesting, the bank credit, because I spoke specifically about this in my report today. Uh, we have uncovered, how would I call it, a mechanism, let's say, in the relationship between uh, bank reserves, system reserves, and what the markets do. And it's probably inverse to what most people believe. All right, if you want to, uh, I guess, uh, have a better idea of what I'm talking about, you're going to have to go sign up for my report. Again, go to pitbulleconomics.com. But these are very tradable flows. Um, and we see them real time. Like everybody else is looking at data 30 days old, a quarter old. Okay, that's data that comes from the economy. What we look at is actually uh, are, are things that create the conditions that drive the economy. So we're looking at things, I'm looking at things that create the very conditions that drive the economy and that everybody else in the mainstream they're looking at data that comes from the economy. So we're, we're way ahead of what everybody else is looking at. Way ahead of what everybody else is looking at. All right? I said in November and December, you got to buy that correction in stocks. Everybody was saying, oh, it's going to be the, the, the new 2008 financial crash. I said it was hysterical. And I pointed out, go back. Go back and look at my videos from that time. You had people puking out their stocks, crying to me, crying to me, every day, email, 20 emails a day, you told me to buy, and it went down some. I can't help that. Those are weak, weak people who believe in some system fairy, and they do not want to take responsibility for the, their own actions. They want to place blame. They think there's a magical thing out there that's going to take them to where they want to go without any kind of uh, stress or adversity or hardship or discomfort. Fine. My thing is designed to weed people out. I said, this is SEAL Team 6. This is um, Navy SEAL training. Same thing. Mental toughness. In the markets, you need it. 
If the market was a living entity, its job would be to make you as uncomfortable as possible. And it would be very, very successful at doing that. I see people all the time. I see what causes them to quit. And they sabotage themselves. They sabotage themselves. So we look at things, I look at things that create the conditions that drive the economy. Everybody else is looking at things that come from the economy. That's like the second derivative. All right? I'm already way ahead of that. Way ahead of that. So yeah, stock market's going up, going to make new highs. Um, interesting this week, we have the FOMC meeting. Powell, he panicked in December. Uh, in January with the pause in the rate hikes, they're still panicking because he's gonna, they're probably going to talk about an end to balance sheet roll-off right, later this year. That has implications too, which I will absolutely uh, talk about once we, we know the, the timetable for that. So that's where it is. Applied MMT. Nobody else has it. Go to my website, pitbulleconomics.com, sign up for a 30-day free trial. I'm sure you'd be glad you did. There's no system fairy. All right, just want to let you know. Bye.